When the cameras start rolling, the pressure is on to deliver a flawless performance. Sometimes it all goes horribly wrong. Welcome to Daily Joy Time. Do you want fries with that? Don't you hate it when your live broadcast is interrupted by a cave troll's mating call? Den hälften av alla förskolebarn barn. These guys decided the weather girl needed to cool off. I was hoping for a little cooler temperatures, but Sterling can't do everything. Well, you know so what? thank this you so much. This is what we call a cold front right here. Okay. <laughs> Coming soon to a bathroom near you, the leaning toilet. UK startup Standard Toilet claims people are spending 25% more time in office bathrooms and not just for bodily functions, but as a time to check social media and text. Sorry, you guys. The company says it could save millions of dollars. All right, no toilet talk on TV <laughs> with Diane. She can't do it. No, not exactly. No more number twos on TV. No more talk of twos. All right, Diane, you gotta go. You gotta go. <laughs> this goat sized up his target before going straight for the cameraman's baby makers. So He's naughty. <laughs> Trying to read a news report about two crashed clown cars with a straight face is pretty close to impossible. Okay, when two clowns <laughs> crashed, it was <laughs> no laughing matter. And no, it was not part of their act. The two elderly men crashed their minivan on their way to the local fair. The driver, 83-year-old James Billingsley, <laughs> a.k.a. Dimples the Clown, collided. <laughs> He missed the entrance, but when he tried to make a U-turn, he slammed right into an SUV. They're okay. Police say Dimples was wearing oversized clown shoes, but police say that they did not play a role in the crash. <laughs> Brian has been laughing for the first two minutes now. Letting one rip when the mics and cameras are still running? That's a power move. <laughs> <laughs> when the footage from the news article is so terrifying, it leaves this presenter speechless. I am never going back in the water. Me either. No way. That's it. Ah. That's the biggest thing I've ever seen. Stuff summer. No. Let's go to the local pool. When this happens to a girl, usually it means she likes you. <laughs> In Soviet Russia, we have developed the most sophisticated drone technology using state-of-the-art Russian engineering. Meanwhile, the weather today was kind of ooey pooey, but it's going to be a lot better tomorrow. Is that transition? <laughs> the king of Segway strikes again. <laughs> 45 on Monday. Tomorrow, get it together, buddy. 30s early next week, and then back to the 40s on Friday and Saturday. Nicely played. And here we see footage of my ex girlfriend. Yet another innocent young man. <laughs> Harry Balvani joining us live this morning from New York. Hey, good morning, Harry. Harry, wake up. Harry? Yeah. Wake up, wake up. Okay. This is your wake up call, Harry. When you're on live TV trying to promote mask wearing, it helps if your whole crew is on board. So are the people there just not worried about it, Cal? Are they not worried about their own personal safety? But you can see, here, just around. Nobody's wearing them, nobody's, uh, the there you go, including the cameraman. Yeah, Katie. Striking images, Cal Perry. This segment is brought to you by Reverse Thanksgiving.
This presenter described exactly what would happen if you found a snake in the toilet. I don't know about you guys, but my sphincter just actually tightened. <laughs> oh my God. A very good reason. I mean, how often do you go to the bathroom and you don't actually look down? <laughs> this reporter is either a terrible axe thrower or really hates marching bands. Who's going to win this battle with the lumberjack? That's going to come next. What you didn't see on air is what the axe hit. Or should we say who? Drum roll, please. West Point marching band drummer Jeff Prospery got hammered by the axe while the other band members kept drumming. You know you're having a bad day when even the sheep piss you off. Off into agriculture investigation. <laughs> Понимаете, полторы тысячи из них 900 на медикаменты, 137 на санаторий, а оставшиеся деньги на проезд. Is this reporter still talking about tiny, furry, dam-building creatures? There's, apparently they're the most popular creatures right now, this time of year. The, beaver the, breeding. Those little guys are cute and cuddly looking. The beavers I've seen are bigger. And uh, not. Yeah, and, and they don't look as friendly, so <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe I've seen my beavers in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> yes, weather time. If you watch closely, you can see the moment this man realizes he shouldn't have had that extra burrito for lunch. Was it a done deal by the time Trevor Manuel? Um, it's actually an opportunity for members of parliament to, uh, to, to actually digest um, and go through the documentation that is uh, going to be presented to the public. Mm -hmm. And uh, the opportunity for proper engagement is actually after the tabling of the... Hey guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. I'm not quite sure what the point of this game show is, but I want to know more. Always remember to click end stream before readjusting yourself in front of your webcam. With such a cute, adorable voice, I wonder what she sounds like when she's having fun. Sometimes the news is so ridiculous, you have to take a moment to gather yourself. He wanted a simpler life. And he says it was fascinating. A little bizarre, though. The Waits co-won an IG Nobel Prize for Biology with another man who tried living as several different animals. Watch the video. You try and read the script. I need a Kleenex. You guys. I think we've accidentally tuned into cringe TV. All day. Yeet. Stay woke beyond fleek and get that Gucci breakfast. Goals! Say bye, Felicia, to that testing stress. Weather's gonna be turnt, right, Chris? Yes! Toledo weather gonna be the lit during testing week. A hundo P chance of success. You got this, kids. Steve, how about that traffic? Are we looking oh Better than oh <laughs> We're talking turn, FOMO, won't be an issue. No traffic problems around any TPS schools to keep you from taking those tests. So get a good night's sleep, do your best, in fact, be extra, extra. We here at WTOL are be proud of you. Good, good luck, luck on, on your tests, test, TPS students. It turns out all you need to get rid of Tyra Banks is a furry badger. Now, are you looking for a snack to tickle your taste buds? Karen, do you like your taste buds tickled? 
every day. <laughs> Before nine, if possible. Tony <laughs> <laughs> From Cornucopia Restaurant is helping us eat. So this morning with a healthy veggie snack. <laughs> hey, Ma, they're giving away videos over here. Come quickly, there's three of them to choose from. Yeehaw! Also, don't forget to hit subscribe, ring the bell, give us a like, and share to your friends.